Welcome to J-Gove Rides. So we're starting this ride out here through the woods. I'm so off-road right now, I can't even hold the camera steady. So that was just like a sample taste of the woods. If you just want to try out the woods and get frightened instantly. Now over here is the Lover's Bridge. Lovers of all types latch locks to this bridge as a symbol of their love. And every fall, high school students harvest the locks for the school year. Man, we've been riding for a long time already. I think we should take a break. I see an item of interest up here, so uh, I think I'll stop. So I slowly pan, then pan faster from the path to reveal a pylon. This ain't some trash pylon. This is a Will White pylon. Will White is a film equipment rental place. So if you see one of these pylons thrown into the bush like this, then that means woodland critters are shooting a movie in the bush. So we better move on, don't want to disturb the set. So let's get back to it and continue on this muddy path and see what's ahead. Oh look, it's a kitty cat. Now this is an interesting cat. I've seen him around here before. He's a wild cat. You can tell by his markings that he originated from Africa. Somehow found his way to this cool climate. He gives me a dirty look as I think I'm interrupting his hunt. I know he travels back and forth from Africa in the bush. He has some sort of teleportation device in a tree that can send him back and forth. It's the only explanation is why that big vicious kitty would be in this country. Well, since the cat went back to Africa, we may as well get back to riding. Look at that amazing natural rock formation on the shores of the water. These rocks have formed that way after centuries and centuries of water erosion. That's how they got to be that way. But either way, I'm glad we're finally near the water. That means we're almost at our destination. Here's a quick little shot of my legs pumping, wearing my dirty old gray pants. They're uh, pretty great pants. You can see our final destination up ahead. It's that pole in the distance. Here's a quick little shot of some city off in the distance. So we finally made it. There's the pole. That pole was placed there in memorial for the thousands of pole people who originated on this land and were destroyed by the explorers who came many centuries ago. Okay, so now that we made it to our destination, I'm just going to throw in a few shots of my bike and other stuff. Oh yeah, nice pan of my super bike through the water. With an exposure change and rack focus to that same city in the distance. The beach is rough today, but as you can see through my dirty lens that many people are having fires on the beach, even in this weather. Now I'm not too sure what these two guys are up to. Potentially could be lovers looking for a secluded area. Oh, they're bird watching. I was right, they are lovers. I like to call this area garbage beach because after it's wavy like this, the next day the water is littered with garbage. But in the summertime, the kids still like to swim in the garbage, which to me is amazing. So anyways, that's about it for this spot. We discussed the historical significance, the beach fires, and the garbage. And that about sums it up. It's a good place to hang out, but now it's time for me to head home. But before I go, I want to show some dogs off. The first dog here is blonde and I believe him to be a pit bull, an unleashed pit bull. And this black dog is a Rottweiler, another powerful dog. Lots of strong dog owners in this area. Now that that bonus dog footage has ended, so too must this bike ride. We went many miles and biked hard and fast. But just like this raccoon, I'm out. <laughs>